Hi guys and welcome to Fallout 76 and today we're looking at the signal strength mission. It's a it's a quest that starts a hysterical question. I absolutely falling in love with this question. The quest giver is a bot called Rose, who resides at the top of the world. Kinda I was gonna say at the top of the top of the world. Top of the world which is there. Um, so what I did is I actually came to this location. Uh, up here in this little ski resort. I wasn't sure what was going on. I was doing a bit of exploration. And as soon as I came into this area, the quest started. Signal strength. I think it's actually supposed to start when you visit Rose for the first time at the top of the world. Um, I think it started here by complete accident, glitch in the game, whatever. These were beta days. So nonetheless, if you go to the observation deck of top of the world, or you head into the ski resort, the quest starts. Boom. So the quest is going to take us just down below the observatory here. So I'm going to head in here by the rocks. Best way for it. And begin the quest chain. Oh my god, we're going to have so much fun. So the first part of signal strength is to find the signal repeater. So once you arrive here, there's there's two uh, responder corpses. The first one, I don't know if this is random or not, but for me, the first one had nothing. The second one had it. He has a note on him. You can read that uh, when you do it yourself. And he also has the schematic. There's also a nice little stash there as well. Not much else, though. Just uh, cool the way the ball fell out there. So there he is. So as you can see, he has the signal repeater notes and the schematic. We're interested in the schematic. Mission updates to say we need to find um, transponder. Is it transponder in a duplexer? Something like that. The writing's really tiny on my screen, so there's one. And here's the transponder. So I'm going to start here at Greg's mine. I'm going to fast travel there and work my way down so I have the high ground. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible, so I'm trying to go sneaky sneaky where I can and avoid drawn out battles that are going to. Well, my resources are quite limited at the moment after some major engagements, so I would like to avoid any prolonged encounters just while I get through this quest chain. So I figure the best way to do that is to approach it from the high ground. And see how successful I am at Sneaky Sneaky. So Transponder is, funnily enough, located in a crashed plane. I guess that makes sense, right? I'm just readjusting my camera there. Most people will play this in first person. I love it in first person, but I'm also very, very comfortable in third person. So there's the, there's what's left of the of the plane. Um, you can see that some super mutants have done a fantastic job converting it into. I don't know. Will we call this a lair? Yeah, we'll call it a lair. So prepping myself for combat, but that's not my goal here. My goal is to sneaky sneaky. It looks like I can achieve it too. Very minimal resistance here. But I hear people. Nonetheless. We press on up here over the top. Horizon air, nice. Looks like we can get in if you come down here. Looks like we can squeeze through these things. Or not. This one. This one works, and we're in. We're still hidden. Gotta get up to that. Luckily, this uh, convenient stairway is here. So we'll grab that transponder. I'm in. And now it's to get out without being seen. I believe we are a little too close to the super mutants to fast travel, so we're gonna have to get a little clear first. Just gotta get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit clear from them. Be very careful. No green stuff. Here. No green stuff. Huh? What's that? It's me. He's on alert now. We're gonna try and stay out of his um line of sight. I don't even know how line of sight works in this game. If I'm I assume if I'm hiding behind something he can't see me. And that seems to be playing out pretty well for me in this scenario, as you can clearly see. He's making his way back down. We are not going to wait for him to come back up again. We're going to skedaddle and run. So that's what I do. I skedaddle out, 
just where he had gone up the hill. I ran up there myself, maybe about 10 meters or so, and I crouch, still hidden, and we fast travel. So that's what we're gonna do. So our next location, I'm again gonna come at it from a sneaky, sneaky angle. So I could get involved and engage with everything around me, but I just wanna get in and out. I wanna get through this quest line. Seems like a lot of fun. So right here, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Oh, I could count all that down. Now we know that there are <laughs> a few lurkers there. There's a bot to our left. But it looks like we can pull this off. Check it out now again. Hidden. Awesome. That's what we wanted. Nothing else outside that can see me. The trains are, uh, train carriages. I think that's what they are covering this beautifully. So we pop in, grab it, and we get the hell out of here. Signal strength now updates to say we need to construct the repeater at any uh, Tinker workbench. I happen to know that there is a workbench at the train station. What's this place called? White, White Hill or something? I don't know. Anyway. I know it's like the, the big white resort with all the protector bots, protectrons and whatnot. Any hoot. Gonna construct it. Boom. Go. Oh, I missed that. I go to the national. Anyway, we're gonna go to the big satellite dish. So I'm gonna head straight for it. Take a picture, because it looks awesome, and make our way down. Now, I have this uh, habit of not paying attention to my mission marker on my compass, and like once I see something, a big structure like the satellite there, and I know like I'm, I know that I'm headed for a radio array, I kind of lock that in. I don't know what happens to me mentally, but I go blind to everything else on screen, and that's what I go for. That's not where it is. We need to go just past that towards the edge, towards the end, I guess the edge towards the drop. Um, there's a smaller one there. In real time, I must have spent about 15 minutes circling that big dish trying to find a way up or in or, or something. But before you do this, there are a few super, mut super mutants there in this area as well. Um, another reason why I prefer to, to approach these areas from height is that I can pull out a scoped weapon and tuck in. Whoa. All right, so clear them out however, whatever way you prefer to do that. And when you do, head past, I don't know why I had a lot of those um, aircraft here in my playthrough. I don't know if they'll be in yours. They weren't very helpful regardless. Um, so yeah, run through that, run past this, I'm going to call it an office. And I see this little dish over here. It's not actually a little dish, it's quite big, but compared to the thing above us, the Goliath, this thing is, uh, this dish is respectable. We're going to install our signal repeater here, and when we do, a bunch of bots get summoned. Um, they just spawn and they start going nuts. There's a boss in there somewhere as well. Luckily, I'm wearing my Raider um, variant power armor, so I'm able to take quite a few of these hits quite nicely. Um, the Protectron boss for me was a 26. I'm not sure what it will be for you. <sighs> it was a fun battle, nonetheless. I was able to use the dish for cover and take them out one by one. Wasn't really an issue. Didn't really lose too much health. And when you're done with that, head back the way we came towards that little, I'm going to call it office or maybe a prefab, um, and head inside and access to the computer because that's what we're going to need to divert power to the repeater. Do, yes. Auxiliary component, divert power. And we're done. Ooh. Let's have a listen. This is an emergency alert. It's the end of the world and we're all Tap into the emergency broadcast system for the whole region. Oh, 
God, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> but enough small talk. Full disclosure, I didn't think you'd succeed at getting my signal working. So I was just going to kill you and take your stuff when you came back? If you came back at all, that is. Guess it'd be a real dick move for me to do that now. Look, I'm what you people would call a raider. Killing, stealing, and cheating is kind of my shtick. And thanks to you, I've got a working radio. So I can reach other like-minded individuals and get them to join me. You open the floodgates. Hey, come see me at the top of the world when you get the chance. I've got something for ya. And I pinky swear. Well, if she pinky swears, head to the top of the world and go to the observation level. And when out, just head to the left if you've not been here before. This is Rose. Funny Rose. Let's have a listen. Uh, well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. And when she's done talking, we're going to click on that corpse. It actually starts a second request, but we won't be able to do anything with this quest just yet. Um, we first need to get Rose's trust before she'll let us progress that quest. So we need to go on and on and on through Rose's other quest line of giving us a bunch of challenges and whatnot before we can, um, before we can progress that. So I'm going to leave Rose's bladder on there for a second. And so begins the Flavors of Mayhem quest. Um, this one is absolutely nuts. It'll also be the next video I upload. It will it should be up showing now on the left-hand side of your screen if you want to hit into that. Anyway, if you found this video any bit useful, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.